Um, we are got one more song for you folks. Oh and, my goodness. And uh, you know, we are so pleased that you came today. Um, you know, I, I, I wanted to say a couple things about why I think that this, these, these stories are important um, and uh, important to, to, uh, to preserve these stories. And it really, you know, when it comes down to it, there's a lot of reasons, but the one that I, that I think that most uh, affects me is it has to do with community. And, you know, when we live here in Fayetteville, I believe we're a little spoiled. Yeah. You know, because we do know what community feels like here. And uh, I hope we don't take that for granted because it could disappear. And it is, I think, in, in general, I think it is something that is disappearing in our country as we become homogenized, as we become uh, more and more enamored with uh, technology and travel and, and Box stores. all the things that go with that. And, and it, it turns, you know, community, at some, for some folks, is really just a, a, maybe a circle of friends that they work with or something, you know. We're becoming detached. Um, I, I, you could argue that point, but it, it feels like it to me. And when and when you see and you hear stories about a town like Cane Hill, which is a lot like a, almost any town uh, in this region, uh, it, it makes you it reminds you of what community looked like at one time. And it kind of for me it makes me long for that time to feel nostalgic for maybe to hold on to some of those things and and kind of figure out how to make that part of our lives again, not let it slip away. That sound reasonable. <laughs> I know that in, in Fayetteville, like I say, we do have it better than in most parts of the country because this is a wonderful town. It's my hometown, and uh, so we're, you know, as you know, we were thinking about this uh, this last song, which is about a potter that uh, made uh, pottery in, in Cane Hill, J. D. Wilbur, and you know, we were thinking about that and thinking, you know, when, when an archaeologist goes and looks at an, an old culture, an ancient culture, uh, and they go digging for artifacts. You know, they're lucky if they find bones, uh, and maybe once in a while they find a stone tool, but what they're really more likely to find is ceramics, pottery. You know, pottery uh, is, one of the, or is one of the most durable things that humans have figured out how to do. And uh, so a lot of times pottery has to tell the story. Maybe the pottery holds the story of that culture. And so uh, we kind of, in our minds, we like to think of that about Cane Hill. This pot that you're looking at now is actually sits in the museum um, funny, it says Boonesboro, Arkansas on there. Cane Hill uh, it was, at, for its first 80 years, went back and forth between Cane Hill and Boonesboro. Many, I think they had five different names during yeah. that time. Just rocked back and forth. Finally, they uh, arrived at Cane Hill. But, but Cane Hill also had the finest clay for making pottery. And so J.D. Wilbur was from Ohio, and he came down and actually built a factory. That's true. And he was there for many years. And Somehow or another, this wound up to be the song that seemed like the way to end this project. So we're going to do that. And, and at the very end, hopefully, we'll get your help for a grand finale. Uh, and that should be nice. And I just want to thank uh, you know, the Walton Arts Center uh, for making this available to us. And it, what a like, sweet thing. Get spoiled around here real quick. And, and all the crew, the sound. Yeah, the, the, the crew, the sound crew. Yeah. tight ship around here and they do a great job and I'm thankful for them so anything else you want to add before we have to say goodbye thank you we folks for being love here our community yeah. <laughs> oh yeah i know one last thing if you didn't get a cd make sure you get yes. a cd because uh there's probably i assume nan we, we still have a few left over yeah. okay good all right here we go are you ready, I'm ready. okay Thank you. 
round and round and round. Oh, Bessie would walk till that good hard clay was smooth and soft. Mixing bowls, canning jars, jars for jam. Anything and everything to put things in. Put the watchful eye for what town folks choose. And our wonders that got filled up with booze. And the kids love to watch as the wheel turns round. Mr. Wimper was a potter of Cane Hill Town. Spins round and round like the potter's wheel of Cane Hill Town. Vessels cast in earth and clay hold the stories of yesterday. Yeah.